Good evening, Booktube. This is Johnny. I thought I would make a video because it's like Monday Reads in Booktube world. And my wife just left to go to her book club. She gathers with a bunch of, uh, a group of nurses and they read fiction, then they read nonfiction, then they read fiction. So I was uh, going to write some more in my, my paper diary since I only wrote two pages today. Usually I write two, three, sometimes four pages a day in my diary, my paper diary. I'm on page 671 right now, and I might write to 672. That last video I did, <laughs> maybe it was too long for some of you guys, and uh, but this one's going to be short because what I read today, since this is Monday Reads, I read a little bit of this this morning, Reclaiming Participation in Christ is God's Life for All. And this is, he's looking at the doctrine of deification in the early church, looking especially at Cyril of Alexandria and his controversy with Nestorius. Uh, so I'm really, been, I read this this morning, and then uh, I had volunteered at the library used bookstore today, and I was, I got this out again to read. These are essays, See What I See, by Gray Kirk, and I read the essay in here, Remembering William H. Gass, and he had a, an essay on Gaddis. So, how to live, what to read. See, he, had, he writes a lot about William Gaddis, who is very famous for his novel, Recognitions. And he wrote uh, The Carpenter's Gothic. He wrote Frolic of His Own. He, he wrote J.R., which came out in 1975. Recognitions came out in 1955. And uh, so I also took along with me to the book nook. I got this at the library, Friends of the Library Used Book Sale. This is William Gaddis, The Rush for Second Place. These are essays and occasional writings. And so I looked at this today, uh, the introduction. So I looked at that. And I also, been, I've been reading, uh, you know, Will Call, Learning How to Die, which I showed last night by Greg Cott. I, I've always been interested, I, 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 from what comment I got, most of my subscribers don't, have not listened to Uncle Tupelo and Sunvolt, and somebody did say they had an album by Will Call, but, uh, Sunvolt and Wilco and Uncle Tupelo have been kind of like music that's always I'm aware of. And so when I found at a local thrift store last week that this book, Wilco Learning How to Die by Greg Nutt, I've always kind of been kind of curious of why Uncle Tupelo broke up because I was really into Uncle Tupelo their music when we lived in Houston, Texas. Now, as I mentioned, when we lived in Houston, Texas, I listened to an alternative radio station and I got into that kind of music, all kinds of music. Because for a number of years before we moved to Houston, Texas, when we lived in Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi, when I was going to seminary, I was just basically into Bob Dylan, Van Morrison, and uh, that's about it. I was really busy with school and our kids were little and Carol was working and I was working. I uh, had a work scholarship at Reformed Theological Seminary. And there was no good radio stations. And But when we moved to Houston, I found this uh, Pacific Radio, Pacifica Radio 
which is non-commercial and it uh, has all kinds of music. They had Cajun music and folk music and Celtic music and punk music and Americana and they had all kinds of news shows and I even uh, when it was uh, sponsored by listener listener what's the word listener donations and I would even I am volunteer to go down and answer the phone to raise money for the station I got a t-shirt and I got a poster I should show that poster of that station in Houston Texas so that's how I got into listening to Uncle Tupelo and I got into Whiskey Town and the Jayhawks and Ryan Adams and all those kinds of music artists and so when we moved back up here we moved up here to Holland I found out that there was, there was a station in Grand Rapids that pl had radio programs during the week that played that kind of music folk music uh, classical bluegrass folk music and uh, so I really got into that but over the years, my music taste has become more widespread into indie rock, pop, uh, techno, electronic, noise, Japanese, noise, psychedelic music, all kinds of music, classical, jazz, bebop, all kinds of music. So that's why this it's been really interesting reading uh, the book um, Wilco Leaving, Learning How to Die. So today I, I read the part in the book where Uncle Tupelo broke up and then you had Sunvolt which I mentioned and then Wilco. So uh, this is what I read at the book nook. See what I see. Greg Kirkle, reading about William Gaddis, William Gass, and uh, I brought home some used books from the book nook today, and then I'm going to close. Uh, I collect, I like, as you all know, I'm really into biographies. When I go to a used book sale, the first place I head for is the biographies, because I like biographies, letters, memoirs, autobiographies. And I found this one today, Book of Ages, The Life and Opinions of Jane Franklin, who was uh, the youngest sister of Benjamin Franklin. From one of our most accomplished and widely admired historians, a revelatory portrait of Benjamin Franklin's younger sister, Jane, whose obscurity and poverty was, were marked only by her brother's fame and wealth, but who, like him, was a passionate reader, a gifted writer, an astonishing shrewd political commentator, making use of astonishing cachet of little studied material, including documents, objects, and portraits, only just discovered Jill Lepore brings Jane Franklin to life in a way that illuminates not only this one extraordinary woman, but of an entire world. So I got that today. Then I found this novel. That I was looking at it at the book nook and reading throughout it, and it had really good prose. It, it, it really looked interesting. It's stimulating. And it's called Brass. And I, think, I can't pronounce her name. Ex, Exi Ehu. And uh, a, a, a waitress at the Betsy Ross di Diner, Elsie helps her, hopes her nickel and dime tips will add up to a new life. Then she meets Bershkim, a married man who left Albania to chase his dreams and, wound, and wound up as a line cook in Wat Waterbury, Connecticut, once a bustling factory town of brass mills. Elsie falls in love quickly but when she becomes pregnant, she wonders where Bash Kim's heart really lies, with her or the wife he left behind. Seventeen years later, headstrong and independent, 
Lujeta refuses to be stuck in Connecticut with her mother Elsie. Perhaps the key to Lojeta's future lies in unlocking the secrets of her past and of the father she never knew. As soon as she soon discovers the truth is closer than she ever imagined. <laughs> so I got that. And then I had put this aside. This is the, the famous American photographer, Walker Evans. This is the hungry eye. These are, he's famous for his photos during the depression. Uh, and I picked this up, but I like, I like old photography. So I picked that up and then I found a biography on Rambo by a Frenchman named Pierre, Pierre Pietrefels, Pet, Petfels, can't pronounce it, but I collect books on Rambo, his poetry, his biographies, literary studies. He was a Parisian poet. He wrote, I think he wrote The Flowers of Evil, which he's famous for, uh, if I remember correctly. So, uh, found that it was translated out of uh, French by Alan Sh Sharon. And so I got that today. And then Picasso, 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 the early years, 1892 to 1906. This is a big art book. I, as y'all know, I collect books on so that's what I got today. He was a prolific painter. <laughs> I mean, incredible. So Brass by Elhu, El, Elhu. Book of Ages, The Life and Opinions of Jane Franklin by Jane Jill Lepore. Oh, on the poet, French poet Rambeau. The photography of Walker Evans. Uh, Evans began his photography regularly in 1927 using a small handheld camera. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, these are some of his photos. If you saw, I'm sure if, if you are familiar with American photography, you've seen his, his, that's a very famous one of that little child, little boy. Like this is during the depression in the South. So this is when he's younger and this is when he's older. <laughs> so that's my Monday reads. I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. Well, tonight I was reading that uh, Wilco, Learning How to Die. I'll put some books down the lower level. I'm writing in my diary. My wife, I'm, I don't know what she's going to do when she comes home. Sometimes we watch tape TV shows. So, yeah. So, I hope you're having a good Monday. I hope you have a good reading week. I don't know if I'll make another video this week since my wife is off until next week. And so, I'll just sign off. Thank you for the comments. And I hope you're all doing well. And until next time, bye.